Hey everybody, I'm Ellen here at eTrailer.com and we're taking a quick look at the Hopkins Backup Alert System. This is going to let you know whenever somebody is too close behind you, if you're uh, in the reverse gear, and if you don't have a backup sensor or a camera already installed in your vehicle, this can be a really handy thing to have, especially if you've got little ones or you live in a neighborhood that has a lot of kids going by. Uh, you just want to be able to know that you've got that peace of mind. So what this will do is it just is a mount that goes behind your license plate, and then these sensors will detect whenever anything comes close if that happens it's going to give you an audible alert so you can hear that you know turn around and see what's going on and make sure that you hit your hit the brakes so it comes with everything you see laid out here on the table pretty simple to get installed you do need to tap into your reverse signal in your vehicle's wiring so that's kind of the one technical thing you have to do shouldn't be too bad uh, it just kind of depends on what vehicle you have as far as how to get to that wiring easiest way to find it is to look in your owner's manual there should be some wiring diagrams in there uh, you can always look online there are a lot of resources for that these days to make sure that you get that wire tapped into so we can take a closer look and I'll show you what this looks like with a license plate in place so I've got my e-trailer plate here and this should be about the same size as your standard plate so it's just going to slide up and under those sensors and then you would mount your hardware through here so it shouldn't block any of the pertinent information on your license plate of course you do want to check any local and state laws to make sure that you are within compliance different municipalities will have different regulations so you just want to make sure that you're not going to get in trouble for anything like that but it should work for most instances again um, it's really only covering that s small corner so the one thing I could see is maybe if you if you've got your tags um, up here in the corner or on the other side that might get you um, in a little hot water but most of the time it seems like they're put in the center these days so that's something to consider there but should fit pretty well doesn't take up too much space they do give you two new screws to mount this so they're a little bit um, longer than your typical screws so that should help support the weight of this bracket and also give you a little bit more length to get that mounted in so then you have your connection to make with this bulk wire. There's kind of two pieces to this. One that goes to your audible alarm, which is this little guy here. And then the other wiring that's going to give you your power and ground. Red is your power wire, black is your ground. And then it just plugs in here. So plug everything in. Make sure that you find a good spot for that alarm where it can be out of the way. Um, but you can still hear what's going on. It does have two settings, uh, high and low for that sound. So if you want to adjust it to your preference, you know, you might have to turn it on high at first or, or whatever you want to do to make sure that it's um, at the right volume for you. The other stuff that you'll get in the kit are two quick splice connectors. That's to make your power and ground connection. So again, pretty simple. You'll just want to find a factory ground and then your reverse signal to power the system. Uh, the little piece of 3M tape, the double-sided tape, that's to mount the audible alarm. So again, you usually will put this in a panel somewhere out of the way that's not going to get knocked around, but that you can, again, still hear it. It does draw about 620 milliamps. Shouldn't be too much of a pull on your system. Shouldn't really affect anything or change how you drive. It does kind of have a graduated system as far as that alert. So as you get to closer to something, it's going to kind of go beep, 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 and then be go to solid. So pretty typical for most of uh, the sensors out there and pretty intuitive as well. But that's pretty much it. Oh, one last thing I do want to mention, you can adjust these sensors here on the side so they can uh, kind of tilt forward or backward, just whatever works best for the uh, alignment or the, the angle of your license plate. So you might have to play around with that a little bit too, but should be pretty straightforward. Again, should work for a lot of different vehicles, especially your vehicles that just don't have any kind of sensor or backup camera or anything like that to make sure that you're staying safe while you're out on the road and backing up that car. So I hope this has helped in deciding if this is the right choice for you. We do have a lot of accessories and parts here at eTrailer.com for all kinds of things. So check them out. Thanks for watching.